has got it away fast up for four and there's a roar in the stadium. Sachin Tendulkar has taken precisely one ball to smash it away to the fence. Just straying in line on this occasion, Damon Fleming and Tendulkar so quick to pounce onto it. It's a control shot. This is uh, body into a great position. Nice work with the wrists as well, just using the bowler's pace and beating the man a deep backwards square leg. That is glorious timing. That's four as well. I think he got a bit of bet on that one. Yep. There might have been a little bit of pad there too, but boy, you cannot bowl straight to Tendulkar. But he's got this beautiful touch. There's no fine leg. And uh, if he gets it on leg stump, he takes it away very fine or clips it square. Watch this. It's very quick to lift his bat up and point it towards the umpire. That's it. He's telling him I've got some bat on it. Oh, straight back to him. That was very, very close to a court and bowl. Will it get to the boundary? Oh, well picked up. Shane Lee down there, I think he hit it back in the air. And certainly got his hand down and uh, it may well have been a drop catch. Yes, he just punched it here and it almost carried to Glenn McGraw. Might just have even carried. Just short of him. Tall man had to come down. Just took the pace of the ball there. And good effort here by Shane Lee. Australia arrived on these shores. Kings of the world in cricket parlance, if you like. If they lose today they would have um, lost the one day internationals quite comprehensively they certainly got uh, teamed up in the test series and they will go home with their tails between their legs over the top for boy he can play every shot in the book mind you it was just a little bit close such and then they're looking at the square leg empire straight away it was a late adjustment by him very few players can play a shot like that so late he was initially going to leave the ball, then he realized it was over his shoulder, and then he took the chance with the bat. It came off, but he was taking a chance, anticipating a no ball. It doesn't matter now, it's race to the boundary, but have a look here. He played that shot and straight away looked at the square leg empire. And justifiably so, clearly over his shoulder at the time of impact. That's why he was looking in that direction. He wouldn't have been happy if that edge had gone somewhere into the keeper's gloves. Oh, in the air and just wide, just wide of short extra cover. Yes, that was a little lucky as well, but it's gone for four. That's what this game's about. You've got to take a few risks, especially if you're after a big score. Yes, Tendulkar taking a chance here. Again, hitting on the up, but hitting a little squarer than he normally does. And that's because of that man standing at short extra cover, staring him in the face. A little adjustment with the bottom hand, just opening the face of the blade and keeping it wide of that man at short extra cover. Action. Glorious timing. There was no luck in that one. He simply leant into it, opened the face, and then those powerful wrists of his came into play. Yes, this is a shot of the Indian inning so far. That's brought the crowd to light here. Just opening the face of the blade again. He gets optimum timing. Gentle push. And the ball's raced away. Full touch, good, ball dropped. So it looked like he actually had it for a while. And maybe he thought it was going to come back a little bit faster because it did appear as though Tendulka actually checked his shot. Certainly uh, hit pretty, pretty firmly. Nathan Bracken was just a bit too quick for him, I think. It, that heavy bat of uh, Tendulkas doesn't need to do much and it comes flying back.
But Nathan Bracken. So he got his head out of the way, Nathan Bracken, that's for sure. The chance goes down for the Australians. Tim Dooker on 33 gets a life. Tough leg side field for a left arm over the wicket bowl. It's a bowl to with a, the fine leg up inside the circle catching. And wax through the offside. Well, Tim Dooker's not going to get too tired doing too much running. And did it go to the fence or not? It may not have gone to the fence. It may have been a wonderful shot for one. That is the longest single hit here. Tendulkar really kicking himself now. Looks as though the grass is quite long out there. And it's just got stuck in the long grass. And it was only at the last second that Tendulkar realised what had happened. The young man was very quick to react there. He was going to come out and grab the ball. At the last second, he pulled up. He's flicked away, and there's no man for two and a half kilometres. What a wonderful shot. On the stunts, but he's got such lovely wrist work. Well, while Skanguli hasn't been able to adjust to the Australian tactics, there's never a problem for Sachin Tendulka. He's always prepared to try something. The bowlers are doing something to tie him down. Then he will try and combat those tactics. And he's in such good form at the moment, you wouldn't bet against him. And that's gone towards the boundary as well. So consecutive boundaries. One of the problems that McGrath has got with that field is that he can't afford a bowl too far outside off stuff because it's going to be called a wide. So it really is a very minute area that he is aiming at in both length and direction. And he's a most accurate bowler, but it's not an easy thing for him to do, particularly when balls are going to the fence. Well, if you think that the Australians have got into the mind of Ganguly, you can bet that Tendulkar's got into the mind of Glenn McGrath. He's talking to himself at the moment. And again. So, Glenn McGrath too short, too full. He probably needs just to calm himself down by going back to a reasonably regulation field because the extravagance of this field is not working, these field placings. So at least go back to something that resembles a normal field and try and play some normal cricket for a while, conceding that boundaries are going to come anyway. I think it's close, getting close to the point where Glenn McGrath is going to start getting some answers when he talks to himself. Well fielded, brilliant piece of fielding, Conti, and nearly a run out as well. Oh, he's hit that way! It's coming in the commentary box. It's coming in the commentary box. It's a biggie. Well, I thought it was going to just keep going. I think there must be something wrong with his bat. That looked as if it was going to go straight over the top of the pavilion. It can only mean he's got a bat problem. It's a slow ball by Fleming, who picked it up early and decided this one's got to go all the way. Slow off spinner, just didn't get it in the middle of the bat. Went high, but didn't get the distance that he wanted. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Well, for the people of Vizac, it's been worth waiting all those years. They don't get much cricket here. They came to the ground today hoping to see the world's best batsman in full flight. And boy, are they getting a nice dose of him today. He's got the bowlers to bowl exactly where he wants them. And that means danger for Australia, straying down on his legs. In the air, he's got him. Bracken has got him. Bracken is the man who's bowled superbly here. This is his fourth over, 4.4 overs. He's now taken two for nine, and he's got Tendulka. Well, this place has gone oh so quiet. Tendulka's innings has come to an end. Have a look at it. It's almost as if they're shocked. Shocked, and then they get up to applaud the young man.
on another great inning.